using bash arrays. An array is a variable capable of storing multiple values at once. It stores each of its values at a unique index. Let's first see how to make an array. I have a variable I want to call ARR. And I'll assign to this variable a list of values separated by spaces inside of parentheses. I have just created an array variable. Let's look at its contents. To look at the contents of an array, I'm going to need to specify an index. What's going on here? Each of the values that I've passed to my variable array have been given an index. By using this special syntax of square brackets enclosing an index number, I'm able to access the values stored in the array in the variable ARR at that particular index. So for instance, A is the value stored at index 0. E is the value stored at index 4, counting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. <clears throat> Nothing is stored at index 5 because I did not specify a value beyond index 4, beyond E. If I wanted to look at all of the values stored in the array, I could use the at symbol as an index. I'm also able to add new values to the array, that is, to append more values. Using this syntax, plus equals, and then the three new values inside parentheses, I'm now able to extend the number of indices holding values inside the variable ARR. If I want to get rid of a value, I can use unset. Now what do you think the output of this command will be? I have just taken out the value that was stored at index 3. What value was stored at index 3? A is stored at index 0. 1, 2, 3. D is the value stored at index 3. So now when I execute this command, I no longer see D. I can also unset the entire array.
Let's look at a behavior of arrays that we might not expect. We'll create an array just like we did before. We'll echo the element at array at index 3 in the array, which is D. 0, 1, 2, 3, D. Now, let's remove an element prior to D. Let's remove the element at index 2, which is the letter C. Now, we know that C has been removed. Does that mean that D now exists at a different index? We still get D when we try to echo the element at index 3. What if we try 2? Nothing. That's the element we removed. The element at index 1 is also unaffected. 